हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इन ईएसपी सो व्हाट इज द रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट द रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज यूज्ड टू रिट्राउस the values that the client browser sent to the server during an http request whichever value are using the request object in asp okay it is used to get the information from the user okay using the request object you can dynamically create a web page and you can perform the various server side actions based on the user input Okay, so what is the first point is what it is used to drive the values at client browser sign to server. HTTP request. Okay. What is the second point? It is used to get information from user. And the last point is. using this object you can dynamic create web page and perform various server side action based on user input okay so now we are going to see the syntax of the request object the syntax is what the request dot in packet sorry collection okay different types of collection are used in request objects then method if you want to use any method then you can define method or the property if you want to retrieve any property then you can add or add here okay this is the syntax of the request object there are different type of collections available in the request object the first one is client certificate okay this collection holds the field of the keys and values from the security certificate that the client browser passed to the web server okay if you want to retrieve any value from the client certificate then you can use this collection okay this collection holds key values from certificate at client 
browser past to server okay so what is the same x of it the same x is request dot collection name which is client certificate and in that you have to define the key values and in that there is a sub field value okay this is the syntax of the client certificate so what is the key over here the key it specifies the name of the certificate field to retrieve okay it specify which value you have to read which values you have to retrieve okay there are the different values available first one is the certificate okay certificate value you have to write in the flag value flag value set as a 1 and 2 one means what the client is present or in two is means there is a client available but unknown values with an unknown values okay then issue your name okay the third value is Our key value is what? Is your name? Then the serial number of your certificate. Then the subject about the client certificate subject. Okay. Then valid from the date, particular date. Okay. In valid from, you have to mention the particular date. It is an optional parameter. Okay, in optional parameter you can in individually retrieve the field in either the subject or the issuer key. Okay, one is what C suffix C. It specify the name of the country or the region. Then second one is C N capital C N. It specify the common name of the user. And the G N it specifies the given name whichever you are given to it. L is specifies the locality. L O is specifies the company organization name. S S is specifies the state or a provenance. And the last one is the title T. It specify the title of the person or the organization. Okay, this this is the client certificate collection that are used in the request object okay now second one is cookie collection it cookie collection is enables you to retrieve the values of the cookies that sent in an http request okay if you want to retrieve collection if you want to retrieve the values of the cookies let us send to an http request if you want to retrieve the values of cookie sent in an HTTP request. Okay. Then the cookie collection is used. Okay. Cookie should never be used to store the secure data. Second point. It is not used to store any secure data. If you want to store Like the password, then this one is not used. 
okay is lost not used okay cookies are transmitted as a clear text it is transmitted as a clear text okay it is transmitted as a clear text so now we are going to see the syntax of the cookie collection is what same as it is the request dot cookie cookies the name of the cookie whichever you want to give on it to it we have to specify over here the key value if you want to give it then you have to give that okay and attribute if you want to set any attribute values so you can easily setting over here okay the key values is optional use to retrieve the sub key values from the cookie okay the attribute is specifies the information about the cookie itself okay the name is if i want to define as attribute not okay the name as a hash key then the read it is the read only key okay okay it specify the whether the cookie is contain the key value or not okay so this is the second collection okay there are the more collection are used in the request object okay that all the videos are available on my youtube channel if you like my video then share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you